here everyone, Danielle North along with Michelle Muscatello out enjoying some of our summer weather and we're in the middle of Weather Week, which is always a very popular week at Eyewitness News, covering so much weather content for you every single year. One of our favorite things to do is to take some of your viewer questions and have Michelle, our morning weather expert, answer them. So right now we have a couple of the ones that you've submitted that we want to pass along. So Michelle, you ready? I'm ready. All right, Bethany Andrews wanted to know, and she is not alone, Allergy season seemed particularly bad this year, and she wanted to know why that was, and was our pollen count really higher than normal? Well, part of it had to do with just how mild the winter was. Yeah. Those pollen uh, seasons started early, and it's lasting longer, and that can be due in part to climate change as well. But in particular, southern New England is kind of a pollen hotspot. It's one of the areas in the country that sees some of the highest pollen counts annually. So with our changing climate, we're seeing those pollen seasons lasting longer and being more intense. All right, and one of our viewers, Jen, wanted to know, what is the difference between a regular thunderstorm and a severe thunderstorm? Certainly we have both during the summer months. So the difference between a regular, what we call garden variety thunderstorm and a severe storm has to do with three things, mm -hmm. the wind, the hail potential, and the threat of a hurricane. So anytime the winds are potentially greater than 58 miles per hour, you have hail one inch in diameter and the possibility of a tornado, you've got yourself a severe thunderstorm. One of our viewers wrote in about the mild winter we had. I mean, certainly we had the pandemic coming right after winter ended, so some of us might have forgotten that we really didn't have a lot of snow and it was it was kind of mild. But is this a, a sign that we could have overall a record hot summer? I mean, we're in you know mid-July right now. It doesn't always translate yeah. to that. I mean, we've certainly seen our fair share of warm days this spring and summer, but in general, a warm winter doesn't always translate into a hot summer and vice versa. All right, now let's talk about hurricanes themselves. So we've already seen the midpoint of summer here, a few of these named storms. Is that unusual? Yeah, six named storms already, and we're only about a month and a half into hurricane season. So it was a quick start, and that is unusual. However, as we know, it only takes one landfalling hurricane to make it a bad season. And mm -hmm. just because we've been off to a rapid start doesn't always translate into an active second half of the season. And it is that second half of the season, as the ocean waters continue to warm, that we are more prone to uh, strong, and major hurricanes and typically here in southern New England it is towards the end of the hurricane season uh, August and September where we would be on the lookout in particular here in southern New England for a landfalling storm. All right Michelle thanks so much there are some of your questions answered for Michelle our morning weather expert and be sure to stay tuned all week long here at Eyewitness News for our weather week coverage.